And that's one of the big ones. Their their food supply isn't as corrupt as ours. So you have mm. to make a commitment to yourself to read labels and to really kind of investigate what works for me and what doesn't and what's good for me and what's the truth and the reality there. Um, you know, there's certain things we can't do anything about, you know, the 5G um, network, the Skynet that goes across the world. Okay. But maybe every night you turn your Wi-Fi off or you make sure your phone's not near yes. you. You know, you, you can do your own part, get uh, um, Faraday bags for, for certain things. Again, that's not just a hide you from anything, but that also stops the emission um, from reaching you. So there's a lot of things that you can do work on your immune system. A, a lot of things I'm also finding are, are nutritional deficiencies because we're not getting it from our food supply anymore. An, an orange today doesn't have the nutritional value that an orange from 50 years ago had because the soil's depleted and the soil's different. So we have to maybe supplement more than what they used to do. I mean, my grandmother never took a, a pill to supplement anything, but she didn't have the deficiencies that we have today. So these are some things that you can kind of do on your own. And, and some of that supplementation helps your immune system so that you can avoid some of these infections that are part of the other, uh, the other piece of the puzzle that's a problem. I love that. And, you know, as I think about it, I, I'm starting to realize it's it's not just one thing or another. It's kind of like a whole package in today's world. It's a whole piece of energetics, like an energetic soup that could get you closer and closer to those people that just avoid the escapers, that avoid those uh, diseases and make it into their hundreds.